Good morning, everybody. We're in Brainerd, Minnesota. This is exactly where we left off yesterday. If you remember, I was talking to you right here and I told you to remember to be safe out there and drive safe. And then we all want to get home to our families. So I hope you took my advice. And if you had to drive, you thought of me and drove safe. Take your time. There's no rush. So today we're taking this empty trailer, like I explained yesterday. And we're going from Brainerd, Minnesota on a little bit of a long, empty haul hauling a big load of motorcycle doors, sailboat fuel, down to Burlington, Iowa. There's a load down there waiting for us. I gotta pick it up on Monday. When I'm filming this, it's a Friday. Yesterday I told you I was filming on a Friday too. I just realized that. That was Thursday's video, but I ended it on Friday. So today is the real Friday. So I don't pick up this load until Monday morning. So I've got some time to get down there because it's just one day drive to get down there. It's about 500 miles, 800 kilometers. So let's get out there, let's get on the road, and go pick up this load. So I know I explained it yesterday already, but uh, this is a little bit of a longer empty haul. Sometimes I do these when they ask me if I want to. Uh, there's a, a nice shiny little loony, a $1 coin or a $2 coin. In, in Canada, we call our loonies, uh, our, our $1 coin loonies and two dollar coins, toonies, if you're not from here. We're uh, very creative, we're very creative people and that's what makes us awesome. So there's a shiny loony attached to this load. It's, it's, it's very nice and it's calling my name. It's like, can you hear it? No, he's not talking to you, Karen, he's talking to me. It's calling me over there. I know that by the time I get there, it'll be a little bit of a duller coin. What I'm saying is that it's a good paying load and it's bringing me back to Canada up to Saskatchewan. I know that I'm cutting into my profits by going down there empty. I've put I've, I've put that into my calculations and with all my options that I had available to me this weekend and for next week, this was my best option. And it, it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm still going to be coming out, coming ahead or coming out ahead by quite a bit. So uh, my other option was just to go empty from here home and then sit there over the weekend and then not have a plan for next week. Now I have a plan to get next week started with a good load. The only downside is I'm gonna to have to sit down in, in Iowa over the weekend by myself. But the good news is, the silver lining on that cloud is that after this next trip, like after this next week, after, after this is all done, I go home for about a week and a half to move, uh, to get the whole moving process done, to get everything, all the last things packed, to get everything into the new house and to get settled in. So that's exciting. So we have that to look forward to. For now, let's point our nose south towards Iowa. Model 5 and then turn right into 160 meters. We just crossed into Iowa on I-35. We're at exit 214 at uh, Diamond Joe's Casino exit. There's a come and go truck stop just on the other side here that according to my intelligence and my sources is the cheapest juice along my route today so here I am showing up for my cheap juice technology has made things so much better so much easier you don't gotta call ahead and ask what their fuel prices are no you can just put your route into a fancy app and it'll tell you it's an app that's attached to my fuel card. How do I get in there? Let me go here. So because we have a fuel card, uh, we get different prices than what it says on the sign. So it says 4.79.9 a gallon here. My price is a lot different than that. I don't know why, but. Very handy to have that app available to me though, because I've never fueled at these places before. Right. Here we go. Good old come and go. Drop your load and hit the road. I was just talking about how good technology is 
something messed up. Because so when I looked at it this morning, it told me that the fuel price here was 4099 for me. Of course, the sign says 4799, right? Now that I'm here, my app is telling me that it is indeed $4.799. 4.799 for me as well here. So I'm not gonna fuel here. Good thing I double checked that before I started pumping, right? That's a big difference between $4.09 per gallon and $4.79 per gallon. Man, and I thought I was getting a steal of a deal. All right, so let's see, where's the next nearest one? Why did it tell me? It's never done that to me before. It changed on the way here. Cause I double, triple, quadruple checked it. I was like, 4.09, nice. That's the one. And that's why I put the address into my GPS and everything else. Ah, okay. So let's go into my app here. Let's connect it to the car. Okay, I'm gonna have to search a long route. From here to Burlington, Iowa. What is the cheapest fuel stop for me? Takes a minute or two, or a, a couple of seconds here to load up. I really is too bad. Man, here I was all thinking I was being all smart. Oh, I got a dog to go get your cheap juice. You know, he'll want to come and go, get a cheap juice. <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me. You're too expensive. You don't get me. Nope. Okay, so it looks like the next one would be Casey's. It's $4.20 per gallon. And that's over in Urbana, Iowa. At the same price as Pilot, because if it's the same price as Pilot, I'm just gonna go to Pilot. Where's Pilot? Pilot's 4439. Waterloo Pilot 447. Cedar Rapids. Ah, I guess that. Oh wait, what's this in Cedar Rapids? Oh, still Casey's. Yep. All right, so uh, I guess we'll fuel up. At Casey's instead. Sorry, come and go. Sorry to get your hopes up. You almost got me. Oh, <laughs> you sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. What are you doing with the app? We better check when we get to Casey's too, because you're my witness. Four dollars, four twenty nine, like twenty point nine. Four dollars, twenty cents, point nine. So four dollars, twenty one cents. I hate it that they add that point. There's no such thing as point nine of a cent. Four twenty one a gallon. All right, well, we might fuel tomorrow then. Like, I still have lots of fuel. Like, all the way down to Burlington. Fuel near Burlington, sitting at $4.44 a gallon. $4.39, 4 .24 up in Riverside. What about Mount Pleasant? There was a truck stop in Mount Pleasant. That was a pilot. Pilot Mount Pleasant is, oh, $4.47 a gallon, guess. Nope. Nope, that's not the winner. All right, well, I don't really have to go very far. That's the thing, like, I have, uh, let's see. Come on, go to my next stop. I'll go to my next Proceed stop. I have to the highlighted route. four hours of driving ahead of me that I have till Monday to do. So I can do my reset here and then do the four hours Sunday. I'm gonna go a little further down the road and uh, Probably stay in Evansdale, I'm thinking. And then we'll fuel up tomorrow, or, or Sunday, or something. Because I still have half a tank. I might even be able to get down to Burlington, get loaded, and then fuel on the way home. There's that option, too. All right, well, live and learn, right? Always double check everything, or check it five times, because I've I quadruple checked it, so I, the fifth time I checked it, it changed. Let's get out of here. All right, let me get out of here. Not gonna fool me. Kind of tight in here. Oh, I don't mean to scare you, bud. Sorry.
I know it said 4099. 4099. I remember that because I was shocked because everywhere else, like the next nearest one is $4.20, right? I'm like, wow, that's a lot cheaper than everywhere else. I bet you they changed the price today on my way here. I bet you it was $4.099 this morning, but by the time we got here, they already jacked up the price to $4.73. So $4.73 is my price. The uh, sign says $4.799. So I, I still got a little discount, right? But not nearly enough. This is a stop sign. I'll let you go. wasn't very nice. That was a waste of time. How dare you waste my time. Time is money. Get back on the highway, back on the highway. for takeoff. Remember, we want to try to get up to highway speed before you merge onto the highway. That's what the on-ramp is for. We're going to use it for its intended purpose. There, how hard was that? See? I know some people out there need a little reminder that it is possible to merge onto the highway going faster than 40 miles an hour. So I'll throw that out there. See where it lands, see what sticks. their fuel prices oh nice and this one's out of service oh man you know what you know what i'm gonna have to go around again ah shoot all right looks like this one works Right, all right. So I'm gonna go down to Mount Pleasant tonight, uh, which is in Iowa still. There's a Flying J there that uh, looks like there should be parking there on a Friday night. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna mark down my fueling here and uh, let's first check to make sure that they didn't change their fuel prices like come and go did. Let's see here. Quickly double check. It should be $4.21 a gallon said it was before are they gonna stick to it where's my pen where's my pen there it is why are you over here why are you over here okay, i'm gonna have to write this down in my book too so i have two copies all right here we go you ready i'm gonna find fuel search nearby one second it's thinking it's thinking they kept their price four dollars and 20.9 cents so four dollars and 21 cents a gallon us i'm gonna fill her up I don't like this. I do not like this parking spot. There's like a little truck beside me there. So I picked the best one I could find, but we're in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Uh, I put my glasses away already because I was going in for a shower. 
Oh, I gotta get the glasses back on. Didn't realize it until I saw myself on the screen there. Who is that guy? It's me, I gotta put my other eyeballs on. One second. One second. Oh, nice. There you are. Hey, <laughs> I didn't recognize you. Okay. So I went in to get a shower, right? I've been sitting out here trying to get the app to work. I couldn't get the app to work. I'm like, well, shoot. So I grabbed all my shower stuff. I took my card and I walked inside. I had like a shower, please. And apparently the whole Pilot Flying J network is down right now. They can't even get me a shower. I'd have to pay for it. And I'm not going to pay for it because I, I bought fuel earlier this week so that I could have a free shower. I'm going to have a free shower. Dang it. I'm not going to pay for it. They're $17 now. When did that go up? It used to be $15. Now it's $17 for a shower. Everything's... Can you guys remember when it was just 10 bucks for a scale and $1 for a reway? Remember? Doesn't it feel like it's still $10? No, 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 no. It's like $20 for a scale and like $10 for a reway. Depending on where you go, I guess. It's just... I can still remember the $5 pizza. $5 for two slices of pizza is like half a pizza. That's gone. Um, you gotta wonder, right? Is it like inflation plays a part in it, right? Okay, 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 I'll buy that. Inflation. But do you think it could have something to do with like greedy, greedy guys at the top being like, hey, I see that inflation's going up. I can just jack up my prices and blame it on that. And I make more money. Right? Right? Can you see that happening? No, people are honest. That would never happen. That would never happen in the corporate world. They never take advantage of you. They never take advantage of world events or anything. Just because there's inflation doesn't mean they're all gonna jack up their prices and blame it on, oh, it's inflation, it's inflation. Yeah, inflation's at like, what, 2%, and your prices just went up by 500%. There's a little bit of a difference here. All these corporations, like, recording record profits and everybody's just sitting here like how are we supposed to feed our families i'm glad you have no problem feeding your family and paying for your five winter houses around the world and your summer houses and your cottages and your lake houses and your yachts very nice oh boy i'm starting to sound like uh the other team now right no 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 josh we're conservatives we don't talk like this we don't talk like this Prices are going through the roof. Are you guys noticing this too, or is it just me? I went on a little rant there. Oh, that just came, that just popped out of me. I apologize. I apologize. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes, especially when I'm tired. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? I'm tired. It's just uh, very often these rants get cut out. Maybe I'll leave this in and uh, bless you with this rant. Maybe I'll take it out. I'll listen to it later and make my decision then when I'm not so tired. That's what I do very often. When I go through these rants, I'll just leave the footage on my computer and then I'll go over it the next day. I'll be like, all right, let's see if I actually like stand behind what I said here. <laughs> or if it was just random gibbering or if maybe I went too far, you know, I can't go too far. Can you can never go too far. Yeah, that's bad. bad. Be very, very careful. You always got to walk on eggshells everywhere you go. Ah, well, I hope you guys know that uh, it doesn't matter where you are on what you believe in. As long as your beliefs don't say that you want to kill me, we can be friends. If your beliefs say that I should be dead, well, it's going to be very hard to be friends. We can try, but I'm not going to let you. Just saying. It's time to go to bed. Josh, it's time to shut up. Time to shut up and put the camera down. We're gonna be here now for the next two days. So it's Friday night when I'm filming this. And uh, we have until Monday morning. I'm in Mount Pleasant, so I just have to be a half hour down the road uh, Monday morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay here all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. Sunday afternoon or evening, I'm gonna drive the half hour down the road to Burlington. There's a truck stop there, I'm gonna sleep there. And then 7 a.m. the following morning, we're gonna be in Burlington to pick up our freight. And that freight's taking us to Saskatchewan. So, it's going to be fun. I do hope you enjoy, and I do hope you join us. So remember, be safe out there, guys. Uh, it's a dangerous world, especially in some parts right now. 
and uh, my thoughts are with all of you in war zones right now. I hope the good guys win. When you're on the road, make sure you think of me. I'm trying to get home to my family, so please drive safe out there. See you tomorrow.